So in this video I have tried to show how to install macOS on your AMD system. Now this video is very long so for that I have mentioned timestamps right in the description below so that you can jump to the part directly on which you are currently stuck on. Now before proceeding further check out BIOS settings video link in the description below. Your might differ if you are not using Gigabyte. Now the first step is to download TransMac and download links are mentioned in the description below. Please see that this software is paid so you will get a window period of 14 days to use it and after downloading you have to install it as any regular application. Now after installation open the application with admin rights, connect your USB pen drive and it should be listed here in the left pane. Right click on the thumb drive on which you want to install macOS installer and allow software to modify the thumb drive. Now in this step of restoring disk image we have to browse to the folder where we have downloaded the installer. In my case I am using high Syria version 3 unofficial for downloading that installer I have mentioned links in the description below. Give some time to format and copy the installer to the thumb drive and once the process is finished you have to restart your system and enter into the boot device selection menu. For me it was pressing F8 to open the boot device selection which may differ from system to system. Once you are in you have to select UEFI named thumb drive and now you will get this screen and select the only option that is available that is macOS and it will take some time to reach on this screen. Now open disk utility and select the hard drive or your SSD on which you want to install macOS. If you have not formatted your SSD or hard drive before installation to Apple file system then you have to do the same thing here and if you have did it earlier you have to skip this part. Now in the next step we have to select the second option that is reinstall macOS and now on the next step you have to select the drive which you just formatted to Apple file system and continue further. It can take up to 15 minutes for this process and on completion of this process it will reboot on its own. Now then after rebooting you have to select UEFI name thumb drive once again and now you would be having three options but for now we have to boot from USB drive for the second time. After booting up you have to open terminal and enter the pre-install command which I have mentioned in the description below. Once you have entered the command you have to specify the hard drive on which we are installing macOS. For me my hard drive was named as MSE Mac so you have to do it accordingly. Now exit terminal and restart the system and on restarting you have to again boot from UEFI named thumb drive and this time we have to select SSD or your hard drive to boot. Now this process is completely automatic so you just have to wait for it to complete and it will take something around 20 minutes. After completing it will restart on its own. Now you have to do the same thing to boot from UEFI name thumb drive once again and now this time we have to reboot from the USB drive and not from SSD or your hard drive. Now open the terminal once again and enter the commands that I have mentioned in the description below. Please check that you are entering the correct name of the hard drive on which macOS is being installed. Now here I am checking for the built version for this macOS so that I can download respective drivers from Nvidia. Now restart the system and this time after booting you have to select your SSD or hard drive to boot and the macOS has now been installed. Go to the process which is very easy the only thing that you need to avoid is entering your Apple ID here and here is your desktop. Now comes the important part open the thumb drive and copy EFI Clover configurator and Clover package from the thumb drive onto the desktop. Now you should eject thumb drive so that we do not have any confusion between thumb drive and internal SSD while copying the files. Now open the Clover configurator and don't update the software at this moment. And on the left side select mount EFI and in the EFI partition again select mount partition. Now open the finder go into the EFI location on the left side and copy the folder from the desktop of the EFI into the EFI folder and replace it. Now on the left side in the clover configurator you have to select install drivers and pause here on my screen and repeat all the drivers that have been highlighted which I have installed 
and repeat for yourself. Now you have to copy post install version 2 folder that I have provided in the description below on your desktop. Now open EFI folder on our hard drive, go to the clover folder, into the cached folder, into the others folder and leave it open and now open the version 2 file or the folder that we just copied and open the graphics folder. Here there are two cached and copy both of them into the window that we have opened earlier. Now I am on the last part. I am downloading the NVIDIA drivers and the links for that are in the description below. And my version was 17D47 so here I find it out. You have to download respective driver for your build version and install it. Now reboot the system. First go to the options and here you go to the configuration and select configuration NVIDIA web. And now go to the graphics injector and check that NVIDIA web driver is being used. Now exit from the options and select SSD or your hard drive for booting the Mac OS. And here is your fully working Hackintosh on your AMD system. So that was all for today. I have mentioned important links in the download section for help. Do check them out. And with that said, thanks for watching. I will see you in my next video.